just kind of like a mini training on beliefs, on false beliefs. So false beliefs, and it was really interesting because I just had a clarity call this morning with, with someone and she has what we call a false premise or a false belief, okay? So first, before we go into all of that, what I want to do is define to you what a false belief is. What a belief is, let's, let's even dial it back. Let's go to, <clears throat> excuse me, what a belief really is, right? So a belief, when you create a belief, it's really a practiced thought, right? So when you practice the thought, over and over and over again, that practice thought then becomes solidified and then it becomes a belief. And what happens is if you believe, if you have a belief, <clears throat> then what happens is th the universe picks up on that vibration. Okay, you following me so far? So if it picks up on that vibration, then what it does is it reinforces to you your belief, right? Your internal world creates your outer reality. So if your internal belief pattern is whatever it is, okay, whatever, you know, pigs are purple, okay? So if pigs are purple in your belief system, the universe will send you evidence of purple pigs, okay? Because it is that practice belief. So if you keep telling yourself pigs are purple, pigs are purple, pigs are purple, <laughs> You make that belief real in your reality, okay? Even though we know it's not a real belief. So what? how do we do that in, in regards to our own mindset? We can sometimes come up with a belief that things don't work for me. Manifestation doesn't work for me. Law of attraction doesn't work for me. Energy work doesn't work for me. I can't make X amount of money, okay? Um, if you keep practicing that thought pattern, okay? And you keep thinking it over and over and over again, you create which is what we call a false belief. It is a belief that is real to you, it feels real, right? The universe is showing you evidence of that realistic belief and it's showing up in your outer reality as being true. And so, when you have these false premises and these fixed beliefs that, that you've told yourself that are not true, but are showing up as true in your reality, okay, it's very hard to say that it's not true. So somebody can come up to you and say, you know, say we're having a coaching session and you tell me, you know, pigs are purple and I say to you, well, that's a false belief you're going to sit there and tell me, no, Elizabeth, it's not a false belief because every time I go to the farm, I see a purple pig. It is real. It is real because that is the thought that you're practicing. So that's how we create a belief and that's how you create a false belief that appears real. So it's kind of like false beliefs appearing real. <laughs> um, let me know with a couple of hearts if you understand that. If you have any questions so far, type it into the box. Um, so let's just let me know that before I move on, you guys are kind of getting that piece already. So false beliefs can happen in your business. They can happen in your life. Um, awesome. Okay. They can happen in anything that you're setting yourself up for. It can happen based on experience. X plus Y equals W. Okay. If your experience was X plus Y equals W instead of Z, then you have a belief that when X is combined with Y, you get W. When the real belief is X plus Y equals Z. Okay. Same thing with, with purple pigs. So let's say you have an experience, um, let's say in your business, let's say something like, let's use an example. Um, if you guys have a fixed belief, type it in the box, we'll take a look at it. Let's say um, you, have a, ooh, you have a practice belief that says, I can't create five, 10K months, okay? Let's say that every single time you create something, whether it's a coaching package, whether it's a private package, a group package, whatever it is that you're creating, every time you create it, you have this pattern thought in the back of your head of I can't create five or 10K thousand dollars a month, okay? 
That's a big one for a lot of people. Or I can't create whatever. I can't get signups. Okay, whatever the belief is. <clears throat> if you keep thinking it and putting your focus to it and concentrating the energy on it, you are creating that pattern belief. Okay, so you are, so here it is, it's like a poof of air, and you keep practicing this belief. Well, now you've created it into, well, not an apricot, but we're just going to say this is like a nice little trap belief pattern. <laughs> okay, so now you have a ball of belief, and this ball of belief sits in your fields, okay? So every time you go through the process of trying to create a five or ten thousand dollar k month whatever your number is it doesn't matter you have this pattern belief working in your energy field against you and it but it looks real because it activates in your vibration and it proves to you in that month that you can't make that money because you're running that pattern okay that's how we create it the more we see it show up in our outer world, the more experience of it, the more it appears real. So the more, the more you see that you can't do it, okay, or it doesn't happen for you, you make it bigger. I don't have anything bigger. But you make it bigger, okay? You make it bigger, you make it more solidified, it gets larger and it gets larger until you completely block yourself from being able to create that flow of abundance because you have in your vibration a contrary belief that stops your manifestations, that stops the flow. And that's, those, that's what we call those blockages. In this case, <clears throat> in this particular block is created from a false belief pattern. Okay, the belief is not real. You can create five and ten thousand dollar K months. Okay, if you're running a false fixed belief that says that you cannot, then it will show you that you cannot, and then that will just reaffirm for you in your experience. Oh, well, you see, I can't do it. Okay, but the belief is not real. This belief can be something you've created, this can be something that comes from another person that you've taken on. Um, Oh, I love you, Jennifer, but you have to write smaller sentences. <laughs> Everybody else can read that through. I can't read that fast. <laughs> but I will get to that. I will get to that uh, later on. Cool. Uh, but thank you for sharing. That's awesome. I will read it. Um, so that is how we create. No, don't apologize. It's fine. <laughs> it's just funny. Whenever you show up, it makes me laugh. Um, so that's how you create, that's how the false belief happens, that's how you pattern it, so you create it in your vibration, and then it shows up for you as being real in your reality, okay? So here's the thing, um, you can unravel it, okay? But I'm going to tell you, it is a conscious choice, okay? It's like, how do I believe something that is or appears real to me and how do I decide and take my energy from it and decide that it's not true I mean there are some patterns that we have about ourselves the way we think the way we feel that seems so real and we're given evidence from the universe that it is real when it's not so how do you do that right so we have to come to a point where we decide that this belief is not real for you anymore okay if you have a belief you want that's not going to be real for you anymore type it in the box we'll counteract it we'll start to unravel it um, oh okay I just caught your thing Jennifer so your husband convinced his birthday is bad luck right 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 okay this is the perfect example thank you <clears throat> Jennifer I scrolled up and it's so funny, you know how sometimes um, the guides point to sentences and the oracle cards when I read them as, as what snippets we, we use? Um, and I caught this one the same way, which is really cool. So yeah, if you guys read Jennifer's husband's experience, he believes that his birthday is, is bad luck. Now, he will probably, because he has that belief and he keeps telling it over and over, he will have bad luck on his birthday, okay? I used to have a belief like that, that... Um, Everybody around the holidays in my family would treat me poorly. 
And I had a belief. So every time I would go for the holidays, it would be horrible. It would absolutely be horrible. I dreaded it the entire time. So I was creating and reinforcing the belief, right? And then I was making it bigger and bigger and bigger. So by the time I got there, what happened? You had to, it is, the experience is real because the universe is showing me that my beliefs were absolutely real and that's what happened. So yes, this is the same with, um, very similar to Jennifer's husband, okay? So if you have a belief that's very similar that you're running, I can't do it, I'm not good enough, I have to, I have to be a certain way in order for people to like me, whatever it is, We'll look at it. We'll do some work around it today. If you wanted us to take a look at it, we'll help you unravel it. Maybe and give you a new thought pattern. Okay, so here's the key to, uh, to starting to unravel some of these beliefs. Number one, okay, you have to tell yourself it's not true, okay, that the belief is not true. Whether you've heard it from someone else your coach, a healer, a friend, a colleague from a group member, you have to identify the fact that it's not true, okay? Even though you may be experiencing it as reality, okay, you create your own reality. You get to decide this is not true, okay? And for some of you, that's going to be a really big challenge because some of the challenges and some of the false beliefs that we've created as real can be very um, emotional, and they're very mental, okay? And they get stuck in your fields. And it is a conscious process of counteraction and unraveling those energies in order to be able to shift them and actually clear them. It is not a two second energy process, okay? These are patterns that are, that are really stuck. Now, energy work, and this is what I will say, energy work, tapping, um, whatever, the, the way we pull energy from your fields, those will help, okay? Those will get like a block that's this big, you know, down to being this big. It'll help with the, the dissolution process. But the rest of it has to happen here, okay? You have to start thinking differently, and that's the work that we do above and below. We combine the energy work, which we pull out, and the below work, which is the mindset work, to help you unravel the belief systems that are happening, okay? So the first thing is you have to decide it's not true, or you have to decide you're not going to believe it anymore, and that's a choice, okay? You can decide this is not true for you anymore, and or you can decide that you're not going to believe this for yourself anymore, and you're going to make that decision, whatever it is, okay? The second thing you're going to want to come up with is what we call an unraveling or what we call it a, um, a counteraction plan, a counteraction statement, okay? And so that could be... Um, it really could be anything. There are some times where I'll just go... Um, that's not true. And I'll tell myself that out loud, that, no, that's not true. Okay, so the second step before we get to that is being aware of when you're running your pattern. Okay, just the conscious awareness of when that pattern shows up for you. So if you're in, um, you're in a group and you read a post and the first thing you hear yourself think or say is, oh, I can never make 5K a month. Okay, boom, that's where you get it. You have to have that conscious awareness that that pattern kicked in and catch it. You got to catch it at that moment. That's half the battle right there. If you could bring awareness to it and catch it, you're halfway there. Okay, following me so far? Give me some hearts if you're following me, if you're understanding. I don't want to move too fast because these are real processes that you can, you can actually use. Okay, so you have the awareness. You've caught it. Step three is your counteraction plan, your counteraction mantra. Okay, you're going to develop whatever that counteraction mantra is for you. Okay, so for me, it would be like, whoa, okay, whoa, I just went there, okay? That just brings that awareness to the fact that you stopped the belief, you caught it, and now you're counteracting it. 
okay? And you can even sit there and tell yourself that's not true. And a lot of you are going to have to do that. That's not true. Because you're going to need to remind yourself that it's not true, okay? That's not true. It's not true. I don't believe it. Um, there's another one that we use in our stat workshop. It's called... Um, it's a mantra you can say, I'm a soul being of infinite, unlimited limitation, you know, unlimitedness, <laughs> okay? I'm a unique soul energy. I'm not constrained to any limitations. You can identify with it that way. But more so mindset-wise, a lot of people just like to be like, no, that's not true. And counteract it with something simple of, I can create $5,000 a month because my opportunities and possibilities are limitless. Okay? My opportunities and possibilities are limitless. You keep, write that down. You keep that by your desk and at, or on your phone or wherever you want to put it. And every single time you have that limiting belief come in, you got to catch it and counteract it. Are you following? Okay, catch it, counteract it. Again, catching it is going to be half the battle. Counteracting it is going to start reprogramming that belief system. It's going to start unraveling the onion. It's going to start peeling back the layers. It's going to make that apricot smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, following? Okay, questions, I'll take questions if you have questions, but again, just in summary, false beliefs are just patterns of thought that you've created and made real, okay, they, cre they create a block in your energy fields and they become a patterned response, um, and they become solidified, they show up as reality, and they show up in, in your experience to reinforce the fact of your belief is true, your internal world creates your outer reality. To unravel it, to unpractice it, you have to step one, choose to do that. Choose to understand that it is not real. Number two, catch it when it happens. Catch it. Number three, come up with your unraveling counteraction. You can call it a mantra if you want. I call it a statement. It's really kind of you know, stopping that thought pattern and saying, no, I'm not going to believe this anymore. I am unlimited. I can create whatever amount I want each month. I can do that. And reinforcing that pattern instead of the one that you've created. And when you've created that pattern of unraveling over and over, 21 to 30 days, okay, and you keep practicing that and you keep practicing that, you start raising your vibration to a different level, that pattern of old belief pattern starts to fade away and then your internal world creates your outer reality. You will start seeing your new pattern, your counteraction pattern show up for you in your reality. Because it is now your new belief system. And what it is that you believe is true. That is how you counteract. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That takes a lot of conscious effort. Okay? But if you practice with at least one belief that maybe is holding you back and combine it with some energy work, you might even be able to accelerate that process of deprogramming. So that also raises your vibration. So think about it. I can't create five or ten thousand dollars a month, okay? That's a very closed off, low vibration of limited perspective. And then you counteract it with, I can create five to ten thousand dollar months because I am unlimited my possibilities and opportunities are unlimited is a door buster you open up the door for possibilities and flow to come into you and you raise your vibration you can you can hear just by the tone just by the wording that the vibration is higher it raises your frequency and raises your energy at the same time so that is our summary of false beliefs um, practice patterns that appear real and then counteracting that.